At the dawn of the 13th century, one of the most famous travel stories of all times became part of history as Marco Polo sailed across the world. He was one of the first great Western explorers to have ever bared the mystifying secrets of ancient China to the rest of the world. Unknown to many, however, there was a missing page in Marco Polo's story. For in every step of Marco Polo's travel, in every discovery, there was another name. Another hero whose astronomical and navigational genius led Marco Polo's expeditions. His name was Cato Wiglington. Unlikeliest of all unsung heroes, Cato, aside from being a trained astronomer and archaeologist, was a water rat from England. But he was beyond the ordinary. He had the rare gift of reading the stars. At a time when precise navigational instruments were yet to be invented, the ability to navigate through the stars was invaluable to any explorer. But Carter Wiglington had yet a far more extraordinary gift. Carter was able to draw magical maps, forever bound to the locations they were created for. Through time, they can magically alter with the geographical changes of the places they represent. And through a special device that Carto himself created, the magical maps were able to reflect not just geographical changes, but the environmental and cultural evolution of the places as well. Far above all, the powerful device empowered the maps the ability to open secret portals that allowed the bearer of the maps to journey through space and time. Indeed, the magic maps can reveal even the most elusive of truths. And for those who desire to unveil the mystery of the future, or dig the truth about the past, the power of these maps was beyond imaginable. Through years and years of voyage, Carter Wiglington created magical maps for all the locations around the world, even those which were yet to be discovered. Carter knew that his magic maps were perilous, as they were valuable if they fell into the wrong hands. To prevent such a mishap from happening, Carto dismantled the device and scattered its pieces along with the magic maps in different parts of the world. He wanted to make sure that only the most deserving Wiglington heir, in skills and in intentions, can find them. But soon after, Carto Wiglington mysteriously disappeared, leaving only a short letter that told his family of the magical maps he created, and a chest that contained chronicles of his travels and a few personal possessions. That was the last anybody ever heard from Carto. Or so they thought. For centuries, the stories of the adventures and sudden disappearance of Carter Wiglington were told from one generation to another. Every once in a while, an adventurous soul in the Wiglington family would attempt to journey and find the magic maps, but not a single one succeeded. Years turned Carto's stories into history, history into myth, myth into dust of disbelief. Until one day, another dared again to believe. Wiglington, the latest descendant of the Wiglington family had grown up listening to the famous travel stories of Carto. The stories burned the passion in young Wiglington's adventurous heart. He imagined himself as Carto, living his adventures and seeing the ancient world as how Carto described it in his diary. His most prized among all of Carto's possessions in the old chest was an olden pocket watch which he carried with him at all times. As Wiglington grew older and more knowledgeable, he learned that pocket watches were invented in the 15th century. Impossible! How could Carter Wiglington have owned a pocket watch if he lived in the 12th century? Unless... Unless he had travelled into the future. Could it be that the first clue to Carter's magical maps lay in the pocket watch itself? Almost breathless at the thought of finally getting hold of Carto's first clue, Wiglington decided to dismantle Carto's pocket watch. But aside from the complex mechanism of the clock, there seemed to be nothing else but three words inscribed within. Made by Ben. Wiglington's best friend, Wenks, examined the watch carefully and thought hard. The Big Ben, she suddenly exclaimed. The clue must be at the Big Ben of London. But Wiglington knew that the Big Ben was built only during the mid-19th century. How could a pocket watch from the 15th century be engraved with a clue that existed 400 years later? And how could Carto, who lived in the 12th century, have obtained a pocket watch from the 15th century? Perhaps it was the youth in Wiglington, or his passion for adventure, or perhaps it was Carto's blood running through his veins. 
Wicklington had always promised himself that there would be a time when he would set forth to search for Carto's magic maps and prove, once and for all, that the legend was real. That time is now. Fresh out of university and joined by his best friend, Wenks, Wiglington thus embarks on a once-in-a-lifetime journey that could change the past and reshape the future of the world.